Today's video is a follow-up on the uh, unboxing of the Fretwire Telecaster kit that I've uploaded previously. I'll be linking to that here. Uh, so what we'll do today is we are going to prepare the body for its first coat of paint and we're going to apply the first coat of paint. And you can see sort of the stages from where we are now, which is just a basic kit, nothing has been done to it, and we're gonna end up after the first coat of paint. Stay tuned, and after the whole process is done, at the end of the video, I'll show you what it looks like now. This is the uh, wood grain filler that I use, Aqua Coat. it dries clear, and um, it's just a gel, a white gel, you smear it on uh, against the wood grain, and then you let it sit for a second, then you grab one of these guys or something similar. Uh, I've even used an old credit card and worked just fine. And then you scrape with the grain to get the excess off and you end up with a coat that you then let dry and then sand off. This is what the body looks like after one coat of the uh, grain filler. And as you can see, it does dry clear and this took about 15 minutes or so for just for it to dry enough that I can hold it and touch it with my bare hands. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit longer before I actually sand it down, but not much, maybe half an hour or so. In the meantime, there's a squirrel. From this angle, you can really see um, the wood grain pop up as a result of using the wood grain filler, and that will sand down very easily here in just a few minutes. It is necessary to sand this down, otherwise it will look very ugly. Second coat has been added and it's drying. It looks very uneven like this, but that's because I haven't sanded it yet. Just done the rough scraping of the excess. It sands off very easily. Just leaves behind what's left in the grooves. And that's the plan. So this is what it looks like after I have sanded the second coat of the filler. At this point, as you can see here, I have taped off the cavities and we're ready to cut the tape down so that we don't have this huge overlap here. And why do I not want a huge overlap? Because I don't want a wall to form where paint can pool, you know, here all along the sides there. So I'm gonna try to cut it and see if I can do this without causing too much damage to the actual guitar. It doesn't have to be completely clean, but I do have to make sure that there's nothing that's overlapping, no piece of tape overlapping um, where paint will go, because it will fold over and cover that part. There's another example of one of those little tags you definitely want to get rid of.
After one coat of paint and sanding it back down a little, this is what we're left with. As I get closer, you can see uh, that you can actually still see the wood grain. So I might have to give it one more coat of that clear wood grain filler. I want to show the other side real quick. There you go. And it's the same thing when we get closer. I kind of like it. 